Oh, two guys come to mind, but I think I'll, I'll have to give it to Noah Delmas. Yeah, I live with him, so I uh, see a lot of the stuff behind the scenes that uh, I hope no one ever has to see. So yeah, he's, he's one of a kind. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, I'm gonna say Reed Robinson on that one. Uh, I'd say Nick Mucci. Guy's always just doing something crazy. He's always got some something to add to the conversation, just out of left field. He's a funny kid. Okay, we're just kidding. <laughs> um, I think the biggest goofball is uh, Dylan Mills. He's a freshman this year, but uh, he's a pretty funny guy, and he's a great guy to have in the room. I think everyone can agree. Uh, Nick Mucci uh, just has some bizarre behavior, bizarre one-liners that everyone enjoys to hear. I'd say Eric Cooley. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a pretty weird dude. He's, uh, he likes to say some crazy things, so I'd say Eric for sure. Uh, definitely Justin Kendall. Um, had the opportunity to live with that guy last year. Crazy guy. Um, could go on for hours about some of the things he does, but uh, you know I won't uh, throw him under the bus too much. Delhi probably, Noah Delmas is probably number one for me. I've been around him for three years, so I can see that, but I mean, one guy is probably gonna have his place when he's gone is probably uh, Reed Robinson. He's a pretty big, big, big clown. Uh, he's a pretty funny dude, so I mean, we'll see how they compete for it that this year. <laughs> I heard a couple guys said me. I don't know why, but I'd say Delhi, Delmas, for sure. Um, I mean, it's, it's probably a coin toss between uh, my roommate, Jared Brandt, but he, the tie would go to the runner would probably be Johnny Curran for me. He's kind of a goofball, so. Rancher maybe, he's a funny guy. Uh, I don't know, I guess I'll go with him. Oh, we got a lot of, uh, we got a lot of them. Johnny Hill, he, uh, he's a freshman, but he came in and, you know, just an odd dude. It's really weird. I was sitting at Olive Garden with, <laughs> with Willie for his birthday and Willie got a text message and it's from Hilsey and we opened it up and it's just like a llama singing happy birthday, Brian. And I'm like looking at it, I text Hilsey, I'm like, what was that? And he's, I mean, just stuff like that. I mean, you know, he's just an oddball, but uh, you know, we love him here. It's your birthday today. Brian. John, uh, <clears throat> Johnny Hill likes to send out some uh, personalized happy birthday messages to guys. Um, <clears throat> basically what he does is he, he uh, searches on YouTube, happy birthday and whatever the person's name is, and, uh, and he finds the weirdest video he can and he sends it off. So uh, I, was with, uh, I was with Chris Harper when he got one on his birthday and uh, also got one on my birthday. So uh, I definitely feel the love from Johnny Hill. Deli or uh, Johnny? Uh, they're both funny guys. Uh, they keep the room light. I think we got a couple of those. It says a lot about this team. On our team, that has to be Noah Delmas for sure. He's always, uh, he's always got something to say. He's always doing something funny. Deli and Loms, both of them are cracking jokes 24-7, always doing something funny. They got some little dance they're doing, so uh, it definitely comes down to those two. A couple that come to mind, but I'd have to go with uh, fellow defenseman Noah Delmas. Say maybe him, <laughs> Come <on>. younger brother, <laughs> or uh, Noah Delmas. He has a character. Um, definitely a fountain, not a drain when it comes to energy. This thing is bright, dude. Am I looking right in the lens right there? The lens. <sighs> it's kind of off-putting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I probably got a lot of votes on that one. Um, I'd probably say Dylan Mills. He's a pretty big goofball. 